Hey guys, got some news. It's good news. I have started a new Bible study at Flomaton, uh, Flomaton Church of Christ. I, I have everybody in the main, uh, the main auditorium area doing the book of Luke, and we're about to start the book of Acts. Now, the reason this is good news for y'all is I am going to make it available on my website and those who are having to deal with coming up with Bible lessons, they're on there. I will have them in PDF form and you can just download them and use them. Now, let me tell you why I'm excited about my work. You thought, well, yeah, because it's your baby. That's correct. But also, I, I realized several years back that there were some people who got it and some people who didn't. You know, some people who got what the Word of God said, and there were some people who didn't. And I remember going into um, a preacher training down in Pensacola, and my instructors, they got it. And here I was trying to get it, and at the end of it, I got it. And I thought, why can't any, you know, everybody do that? Well, they taught you some ways. Number one, they tried to drill everything into your head, but that wasn't really the key to it. The key to it was that I learned how to study the, the Bible. So if you know how to study it, it becomes way easier. And then the more you know, the more you know, the more you know. And everything starts connecting and you have more things that are starting to come together and it just makes sense. So what I decided to do is, is to make a Bible study that goes chapter by chapter. And what I've done is I've taken the King James... And I'll take, like this is Luke 21, chapter 21, and I'll put the whole section of the King James. And uh, some people say this font's hard to read, so I've, I've changed the font since then. But it goes from like verse 1 to verse 38, and you can read it. And you say, why King James? Because it's free. It's free. King James is dead. He's not able to come back and sue me. So I use his stuff. And you may have a problem with that, saying I like the ESV or the Holman the ESV. Use your own. But it's there in case you need it. And what I did was I had basic questions, Bible student questions, and I say required. It's got a little hat here saying, to be a student, you need to know these things. And it's pretty, this is your basic stuff, the who, what, when, where, why type things. You know, you know what did Jesus see at the treasury in verse 1 and 2 in chapter 1. Well, he saw the rich men giving of their abundance and he saw the widow woman giving the two, the two mites. And so it's very basic stuff. You can stop there and have a basic understanding of chapter 21 or you can continue and go to the Bible, genius level questions, and ask questions such as, what court was the treasury, treasury probably located? That is nowhere in chapter 21. You actually have to search. And you think, well, where do I search at? Well, I'm glad you asked. You'll notice there's little green letters. And each one of those is, uh, they, they belong to uh, the abbreviations in ESORD for your commentary modules. Like pulpit is actually for pulpit commentary. And you're saying, wow, that sounds expensive. Nope. Absolutely free. E sword, E dash sword is free. The modules, pulpit commentary, you download it, it's free. Uh, TSK, Treasury of Scriptural Knowledge, free. Uh, BCC, Burton Kaufman. Uh, I want to say it's free somewhere. I'm not sure. But anyway, I give the places where you can find the information. I dig through all the commentaries to get you the juicy nuggets that makes you a Bible genius. Well, you're saying, well, I want to surpass the Bible genius and go to the unreal level. And that's when I put the impossible level questions, those that will blow people's minds that you know. And again, I give you where to find this stuff, stuff that you would probably never know. But it'd be great. You can just say, well, you know that. The reason there was two coins given and not one is because the Jewish law has stated you need to bring two gifts to the temple. You know, Burton Kaufman commentary. Stuff that is not going to affect your salvation. It's not really going to help you out, but it's just going to be impressive to other Bible people. You know, people look at you funny if you 
bring it up. Oh, also, at the end of it, since I'm using King James, I have Master of the King James English, and I have words that we don't use today. And I require you to go through and look them up, and then I give you the two places to go to the original Greek to find what that word means. So anyway, these are going to be on my website, PreacherBrian.com. They will probably end up going on the FlomatonChurchOfChrist.com site also. And I guess I can link to them in the bottom of the notes at the bottom of this video. But uh, avail yourself to them. Download them, use them, and I, I guarantee you, you'll, you'll have a better understanding of what that, that chapter says. Also, when I get a whole book together, you know what my plan is? That's right. I want to publish it. And you're saying, man, then you're going to make all that big money. Man, that'd be great. But, but anyway, it's free for now, and I will leave these individual lessons up. But if I have to print it in book form and send it out, it's going to cost money. And uh, that's really my ultimate goal is to publish a Bible study. So, you know, I don't know. I just always want to do that. Uh, but anyway, if you have any questions, holler at me. Let me know. And uh, hopefully we'll, we'll you know, hear from you on the podcast or you, I'll see you at church or somewhere. Just holler back at me. Let me know there's people out there. And uh, thanks for the encouragement. See you all next time.